Hi, hi, campers. It is I, Ladas, with a YouTube first. I am in Denmark. I am at somebody's pond. And this pond has never been on YouTube. No, it hasn't. So this is an exclusive from the Skegster in Denmark, which as you can see, is a little bit snowy and a little bit chilly. So without further ado, let me show you where we are. Hi, hi campers. Well, it is I, Ladaz. Not heard of me for a while, have you? And look at this, look at this sky. And then, uh, it's a bit chilly. But I'm not even in the UK. I'm out here in Denmark. And, um, yeah, well, let me show you. Look at that. Look at that monster of a pond. So, this is uh, about 25,000 litres. Block built in eight inch block. You know, the hollow blocks that you put rebar through, fiberglass. It does have an air source on it, but oh my word, look at that sturgeon down there. Can you see it? That's a monster. Obviously, I can't really see much apart from this little sliver in the window. But you can see there's some pretty large fish in there. And if you hadn't guessed where we were, because you don't often see this pond on his channel, he does a lot of uh, filming from the filter shed. We were at Samuel's, uh, Quick Anlon. He uh, ordered two ozone generators off me. Um, there's the filter house behind us there. We'll probably have a look in there later. He ordered two ozone generators off me. And as we all know, I like my trips to Denmark. So I decided to whack them in a suitcase and hand deliver them. So, uh, yeah, pond visit with a difference from Denmark. Snap back to you in a bit, guys. Oh, look at my hair. Jeez. But it is a bit chilly. It's minus three. Brass monkeys looking for oxyacetylene torches. Catch you later. Right, so it's uh, warmed up a little. A little. It's about minus two-ish. And... Uh, this is the pond that Samuel built. And we've got the uh, return from the uh, backing shower in there. But look at this, guys. Look at that water. It's absolutely gin clear. Got the air bar over there. At the end. But this... This is a pond. We've got the uh, skimmer in the corner. And Samuel's a man after my own heart. Because look at that for a sturgeon. I don't know if you'll see it, but there's a sturgeon down there. He's got two in here. Let's see if we can get him through the window. Where's he gone? I mean, that water, right, you see the bottom drain, that's uh, four feet down. But the construction of this, it's very much the same sort of size as Lee Hadfield's pond. And uh, this is all polytunnel sheeting on a frame. And it basically just just retains the heat, lovely. Yeah, I think it's the pond sitting at about seven degrees, I think Samuel said earlier. Um, yeah, it's got an air source on it, but it's not really running because, well, just the price of running them at the minute. So, 
That's the view inside the pond. And here's the man himself trying to run away and hide. Hey! This is uh, Samuel's little hospital tank. As you can see that fish down there has got a bit of a bit of a knock on its side but it's healing up well. And we've got a backy shower, auto feeder, and this one's run on an easy pod. We've got all the inkbird heaters and all the rest of it. Aquanova pumps. Aquanova, not a name I know of. Feedback on those guys if you know about them. Yeah, he's uh, got some fish in quarantine in here and some fish that have got a couple of knocks and scrapes and are just healing up. Then we get on to the filtration for the main pond. Now you won't believe this guys. We've got a filtro drum and this runs off the two bottom drains. Uh, it's got about 150 litres in the moving bed. So we've got uh, the two bottom drains coming up here, filled into the filtro drum. You've got your flow and returns there for the air source, which is out the back. One Tempest, two Tempests. Uh, about a 30,000 litre pump down there. Then we have the mother of all four tier backy showers. And that has in ex about 20,000 litres now going over it. And then the skimmer, this, this is off the skimmer line, is the Nexus 200 series. Uh, it's one of the original 200s. Um, but as you can see, that's uh, bubbling away with another 150 litres of K1 and K K1 Micro in there. This is all condensation dripping off the backy shower. But uh, what have we got? 6.1. It's running out at the minute. But that's, that's with no heat. There's no heat on on that. That's literally just ambient temperature at the minute. And considering it's minus three, um, yeah, that's pretty good. So that's Samuel's setup. You don't often see all of it, so I thought I'd document it just to show. And I'll tell you what, it runs brilliantly. The only UV is that little 40 watt amalgam in there, and that's not even switched on. So, that's how they do it in Denmark, guys. Catch you later.